So I'm kind of scared. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Kind of scared for today. Today I'm basically gonna be telling Janice that she will never be a good wife. You guys always ask me, and so did she recently, when I'm gonna propose to her. Guys, like I said, I'm never gonna give up that information. Just know that it will be coming soon. And of course, I would love to marry Janice. I think Janice would be the most perfect wife. She'd be the best wife that any man could honestly ever ask for. But today, I'm gonna be telling her otherwise. She's on the phone right now in the living room with a hair salon. She's making an appointment for something. I don't know. She's doing girl things. But today, we're gonna be vlogging it out. We have a couple things to do today. She also has a doctor's appointment, so we're gonna be vlogging that out for you guys. But yeah, like I said, today we're going to be telling her that she's never going to be a good wife. And I don't know how she's going to react to that. If you guys are ready for today's video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below, Team Isaiah, all day, every day. Let's get into it. What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a what? For a chance to win a shout out in the next video. That is right, guys. So right now we are in, um, what do, what do we call this car? What's her name again? Uh, I, Luna. We are in Luna. <laughs> He's named her car Luna. So we are in Luna right now. That sounds kind of bad. We're in Luna. We're in Luna, period. And, yeah, anyway. <laughs> See, don't add the period because that makes it sound worse. <laughs> All right, anyway. So we're on the way right now to go somewhere to eat. You guys are never going to guess where. I want you guys to comment down below right now. No, it's not Chick-fil-A. If you know me and really follow me on Instagram, you already know what this is. You guys have to think. It, what was what was Janice's nationality in her past life? <laughs> That's what you really have to think about. But, yeah, so we're going to be vlogging out today. We have a couple things to do today. You have a doctor's appointment. I'm very I do. excited for that. I have my appointment for my follow-up, for my surgery. I'm kind of nervous Why? to, like, see the results and, like, how everything went. I'm just kind of scared because there's always that, like, what if, like, oh, you might have to get another surgery or something like that. So that's a little scary, God, but... No he said that there was, like, a very slim chance you would ever need another one. Yeah, I know, but, you know, it's always worrisome. We have a couple things to do today. That's one of the things. So, yeah, vlog it out with us. We'll see you guys at the food spot. I can guarantee that no one commented this down below. Guaranteed no one did. You think anyone did? Maybe, if they know I love ramen. Absolutely not. There's no way that they guessed this. No shot. So little do you guys know, this is gonna be Janice's face when that food comes out. There's been a series of unfortunate events. <laughs> While we were eating, Janice got a phone call from her doctor and basically, t just tell him what happened. Pretty much, he had to go into emergency surgery. <sighs> so I had to reschedule my appointment until December 1st. But this is the second time my appointment's been rescheduled. But I understand because, you know, there's a lot of patients with endometriosis and they need to be catered to, so. You know how badly them people must feel mm -hmm. that they want to be catered to because yeah. you were in a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. So we're not going to get mad at that. It is what it is. It's yep. a good man right there. Um, so yeah, that's going to be, we're not going to be doing that today. Next on the agenda is I have to go back to the house because I forgot to bring it. I have to go back to the house to get some Coquito. If you guys know what Coquito is, it is basically a Puerto Rican liquor type it's of like drink. A Puerto Rican eggnog. I have a bottle for my best friend Miguel. I have to go back home to pick it up and then we're going to go take a trip to his job, drop it off. If he has time to talk, maybe I'll put him on camera or something like that. Maybe mess with him a little bit. But yeah, that's next on the list. So let's go back home. All right, Finna fam, I'm going to need you guys to send me right now in the comment section a prayer because I'm about to go into this cold. This cold ain't no joke. It's windy as hell, so it feels way worse than what it really is. But I'm going to run inside, and I'm going to get what I got to get. So wish me luck. Go, run, run, run. Ah! <laughs> <Look at him. laughs> His little legs, they were like, dee, dee, dee. I'm back. It was tough out there. Almost <laughs> didn't make it. But this is the Coquito. This is what it looks like. So it is basically rum, coconut milk, cinnamon. All that good stuff. Tastes really good. I'm supposed to drink it really, really cold. But now we're gonna go drop this off at Miguel. I wanna tell him to like drink on the job, but not drink on the job. No. I don't promote that, but you know what? A little sip on here. <laughs> but we're gonna go over there now. This is my dream car. This is what I want. Janice won't let me have it. I hate that blue color. For, all right, forget the blue. Just the car in general. Like that is so fire. What do you guys think about that? That is so hard. Oh, come on, babe. Let me get it. That's so fire. 
on, man. <sighs> if you don't pick up the phone, I'm gonna throw the bottle through the window. <laughs> You? Estoy aquí. I'm coming. All right. He just saved this boss from a busted window. <laughs> now imagine. I feel like he let that phone ring for like, so the last ring was or like, all right, I'll pick up. Make it drop. <laughs> all right, see, now I don't even want to know if I want to give you the bottle anymore. <laughs> don't drink it all in one sitting. I don't promote drinking on the job, but I think that's an exception. It's a great exception. I think you guys will have a good time. I have a great time. Thank <laughs> you. you seem busy. Your hands are dirty. Yeah, always. Can I touch it? No. Yeah, oh. Ew. <laughs> Weirdo. Vlogging? Yeah. yeah. What up, vlog? <laughs> I'm gonna let them chit chat and then I'll catch you, you guys later. All right, guys. So just left Miguel with the bottle. Um, I have a feeling that bottle is gonna be halfway done before he gets home. <laughs> Miguel is Dominican, and as you guys know, Dominicans like to party. Dominicans get down, and whenever me and Miguel have liquor near us, it, it's it's a fun time. So yeah, fun time for y'all. It is. It's not so much fun for you because then you be having to take care of us. You and Gab have to take care of us. Yeah. But it's always a good time for us. You know what I was thinking about though? Because you know how Miguel's like engaged and all that? Yeah. I still find it crazy. My best friend is engaged. I think it's crazy too. That's like literally insane. They're it is. freaking engaged. Like we're yeah. getting old. <laughs> I used to think back in middle school, when we get to that point, I feel like we're going to be so old. And here we are about to be 24 years old. And I'm like, wow, that yep. came really fast. But <laughs> it made me start thinking like, you asked me the other day, right? Mm -hmm. When am I gonna propose to you or whatever? I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of like iffy about it. Why? Because like, let me ask you a question. What? Do you personally think that you would be a good wife? I, like, what do you mean a good wife? Being a good wife just means like being a good girlfriend and I feel like I've been a good girlfriend to you. So you think you'd be a good wife then? Yeah. I mean, what does a like wife and you're... Mm. What do you mean? You don't think I'll be a good wife? I don't know, babe. I don't know. Do you guys think she'll be a good wife? I don't... I think I'll be a good wife. I'm not gonna lie, babe. I don't think you'd be a good wife. Why? Why would you say that? That's so messed up. I'm not joking either. Like, I hope you're not taking this as a joking matter. I'm being serious. Like, I don't... I honestly don't think you'd be a good wife at all. Why? I just don't... I don't, I don't think you... I don't think you have what it takes to be a good wife. But what does it take to be a good wife now? I, I really I really want to know. I don't know, babe. I don't... Like, what do you consider a good wife? What do you consider a good wife since you're saying I'm not going to be one? Uh, I'm just being honest. What do you want me to do? What do you want... Well, babe, Am I supposed babe, to be like... All right, babe, I feel like... Wiping babe, stuff down all day and babe, asking... Babe, I feel like oh, you're getting defensive. You I feel eat? like you're... That's so old school. That's no, not me. Babe, Sorry. I'm not asking for a housewife. That's, that's what I call a housewife. I don't like housewives because I like I like a woman who's about her stuff. She's ambitious. And exactly. I feel like you have that, but I don't think you'd be a good wife. I really don't think what so. What about me is not wifey material. I don't understand. I know how to cook. I know how to clean. And I taught you how to do majority of that stuff. I taught you how to do laundry. I taught you how to cook. You didn't teach and me I... how to do laundry. Yes, I did. You no, didn't you know didn't. how to do laundry until you met me. I knew how to do laundry. I no, just... you didn't. Yes, I do. I just was confused about like, how do I separate colors? Okay. Like what's colors and what's not colors? No, I feel like you didn't know how to do laundry because whenever we would try to do it, like you would just be like, yeah, I don't know what to do. Babe. And I would help you. Right. But regardless, those are like two things. One. Why are you getting defensive? Though? Because I don't understand what you think a wife is supposed to be like. I'm just saying I don't think you'd be a good wife. I'm not asking you to define a good wife for me. I'm but just saying I'm just I don't think you'd saying, be a good wife. What would make me not a good wife? Like, I don't understand why you would say that to me. I'm just being honest. That's why, like, I don't know. I, I think about it a lot and I'm like, dang, I really don't think she'd be a good wife, like, at all. But why? Like, at all. At but all. But why? I'm asking why you're not giving me a reason. You're just saying you don't think I'll be a good wife. Okay, why? Can I be honest with you? What? And you promise you're you're gonna like chill. You're gonna be chill about it. You're not gonna like like go all crazy what? on me. What? I don't think you'd be a good wife. I think that, babe. But you're not listening. I am listening. All right, but you're getting fed up. Let me like just listen. Look at me, seriously. No. Look at me, babe. Look at me. No. Babe, look at me, seriously. I don't think you'd be a good wife. You keep saying that. Okay, I get it. You won't let me finish my sentence. Third time. I don't think you'd be a good wife. 
I don't think you'd be a good wife. I don't think you'd be a good wife. You're I, messing with me. I think you'd be a great wife. Give me a kiss. No. Give me a kiss. Come on. I don't think you'd be a good wife. You'd be no. the best wife. You'd be a great wife. No. You'd be the best wife of all the wives. Give me, give me a kiss. What all the wives? What other wives? Out of all the wives? wives in the world, not mine. All the wives in the world. You'd be the best wife ever. Give me. Mm. You'd be the best wife ever. You're not gonna be just good. We're not. We're not gonna put you right there at that level. You're gonna be the best. You're gonna be the best wife ever. I was about to say, I'm nurturing. You're I everything. Like everything. I, I already told them in the beginning. But I did an intro in the bedroom when you were on the phone with the hair salon. Do I told them that you would be the best wife a man could ever ask for. You're everything and more. There's nothing I would add to you to make you more wifey material. I feel like you're everything already. You have the whole package. Do you mean that? I do mean that. 100%. Okay. And I'm looking at you just straight in the eyes. Can't be more serious than this. Okay, that's on period. That is on period. Give me a kiss. <laughs> mm, I you love know, you. You know you'd be the best wife ever. I love you too. I know I will be. I'm not going to lie, guys. I had to cut this one short because... I don't know. I kind of felt bad. I felt like I was like hurting her feelings and I feel like it's kind of wrong to say that. That's like saying like, I don't, I feel like you were taking it as like, oh, I'm saying that I deserve better. I feel like that's how you were taking it and I didn't want you to feel like that. So I, I cut it short. I just thought you were coming for me like, because sometimes I do be lazy and I don't be wanting to cook. So that Man, everybody's me. lazy and all that, but who, who isn't lazy? You watching right now. I know you're being lazy. You're being lazy right now. You're watching our video. <laughs> That's going to end the vlog here because, like I said, you know, her appointment got rescheduled. So it is what it is. But... I guess that's another thing for another vlog. That is it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed it and you guys want to see more content like this, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. Comment down below, Team Isaiah, all day, every day. You guys already know what it is. Time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Sunita Kaur. I hope I pronounced that right. Thank you so much for the love and support. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you guys got to do is like, comment, share, and subscribe until your post notification bells on so you're notified whenever we post a new video. Go tell your girlfriend, your fiance, your wife, husband, whoever. Tell them that they're the best person in the world and we're going to end it off like that. See you guys in the next video.